out of Chinese time. This is Jocelyn with Linda here. So tell me a little bit about the design festival. Yeah, um, the design festival is the first ever in Seattle. Ten different groups came together to put on events and tours and films that are part of it. It's going to go on um, from today until the 25th. And there'll be more than 30 different events to choose from. And some of the things that you can do during um, this 10-day period are um, we have a storefront uh, down in Pioneer Square that's going to have a, a really cute and fun uh, interactive installation called Dear Seattle. And there's also um, there's tours that you can go on, walking tours uh, of landscape, of buildings. And um, there's events every night this week, lectures and so on. And so there's things for kids, there's things for families, and there's some things that are free. There are going to be 12 things that are free. Yeah, and what are some results that you guys are hoping to get from this event? We're hoping that the public will be more aware of design and the value of design. It's not just for designers. Uh, this festival is really meant to reach out to anybody who's interested in uh, design and, and to let people know that design isn't just the typical things you think about. It's not just architecture, not just graphics or fashion. But there's lots of other things that get designed. And that's what we're trying to show with the festival. So in your opinion, what's the most important value of design? I think that it can really make things better uh, in all kinds of ways. Products, services, experiences, that it really can improve our city and it really can improve things in general. And is Seattle going to be a good place to start this event? I think so because really there's a whole critical mass of, of design that already goes on in Seattle. People just aren't so aware of it. But there's a huge community of architects and designers, industrial designers, interior designers, communication designers. There's a lot going on here already. So Greg, tell me a little bit about what's Parking Day. Well, Parking Day is an international day. That's the third week, the third Friday of September. Um, it's, an, it's a worldwide event that was organized by the collective, San Francisco Collective Rebar. Um, and what their concept was was uh, for people to kind of take over parking spots and turn them into temporary green spaces in an, order, in an effort to kind of t to talk about um, urban green spaces and making things a little bit more livable. Cool. So um, what's this game all about? Yeah. So today, this year, um, this is the fourth year that uh, the Seattle Art Museum has participated in Parking Day. And what we've done is we've had a variety of activities that are happening. So this game right here is a game based out of the Midwest called Cornhole. And the game itself is essentially a beanbag toss. Um, what you do is you um, use the beanbags and you toss them to each board. There's two boards on the playing field on each side and people can toss them uh, to each side and each, if you land on the board, it's one point and if you get it inside the hole, it's three points. And so it's, a, it's kind of a good game to socialize and hang out and meet some new people. So that's uh, one element of, the, of, the, of, of what we have going on here with our event. How how is it going so far? It's great. We love uh, just kind of meeting a lot of different people that kind of walk on the street. A lot of people kind of want to know what Parking Day is, and so it's a good way to kind of engage people to talk a little bit about uh, what Parking Day is, and also just for to have them kind of to relax on a kind of busy after busy day downtown. So we have some art making activities, and we have. Um, the Seattle Design Festival that's here, as well as the Trust for Public Land. So we've taken up about six spots here on, on University Street, which is a pretty uh, sizable park, bigger than normal. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome.